and welcome to the Vicki Wagner Show. Today I have a special treat. I actually have with me the founder and original promoter of the Club Skirts Dinah Shore, Mariah Hansen. Hello, Mariah. I'm so How happy you? that you're here. I'm happy to be here. Biggest lesbian party in the whole entire country is coming up in a couple of months. Oh, and, my God. And you are the originator of that. Yes. Tell me a little bit about how you got started with all of that. Well, it's 20 years ago. This is actually my 20th anniversary this I year. Heard, which I, I heard. I know. And I started in 1991. I came out to Palm Springs. There were some smaller parties there. And I thought, you know, this has so much potential. So I went and I, I talked to the Palm Springs Museum and I said, <laughs> they had this deal where you could become a corporate benefactor yeah. and it cost 2,500 bucks. And if you were, you were entitled to a corporate cocktail reception in the Palm Springs Museum. Oh, wow. I'm all, all right, all okay, right, I'm on that. Here's my check, $2,500, yeah. they're like, great. And I said, oh, by the way, <laughs> it's a big lesbian party. Yeah. And it was, it just started out as the most amazing party in the world because, it, you know, it's a really first class museum. So yeah. these women are partying us to Rodin's and all this expensive modern art. And they went crazy. Oh, you're museum. kidding they me. They went crazy. They, actually, these girls. <laughs> they're all drunk. They're drunk. They were putting <laughs> cigarettes out in indigenous sand sculptures. I was walking around like, did your mother let you do this at home? I really was. I couldn't believe it. But these girls climbed up the, the part of the sculpture garden and got onto the roof of the museum. And they had uplighting. I don't know why. And next thing you know, you get uplighting and lesbians who've been drinking and shirts go up. Oh, gosh, yeah. And then they were, like, dancing down in front of all the girls down below in the sculpture garden. And then these 80-year-old Keystone cop security guards climb up. And they start chasing the girls. And I swear to God, they're just running around in this circle. It really was like <laughs> Keystone cops. And that was, like, probably the best story of the night. And needless to say, the Ponce Rays Museum actually didn't invite me I back. I bet they didn't. Yeah, yeah. No. They weren't going to have you no. come. Come on down. That was lesbian it. Lesbian party. Uh -uh. Ruin the museum. And but, they but, actually rewrote their whole corporate benefactor status so that no one could ever <laughs> throw more than a 500-person party there. So wow. I'm kind of proud of that. Yeah, so you ruined it for yeah, everybody. Yeah, I ruined it for everybody. So that was 20 years ago. Yes. Now, did you ever think, looking back, that the dinosaur would turn into what it has become today? I mean, for people who, out there who don't know what the Dyna is, why don't you tell a little bit about it? Well, I mean, it's the largest lesbian event in the world for women, and it's been going on for 20 years. And it's, it's something that attracts, it's an event that attracts women from all over the world. A couple years ago, I had somebody as far as Russia oh, wow. coming. Um, Australia brings a big contingency, England, Canada, Germany. So, and then all over the states. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's, you know, the western states are, are, are Predominant. heavier. But, you know, back east, the New Yorkers love the Dyna, Miami. So it really brings together a, a really broad spectrum of our community. And they're all coming to Palm Springs to party like banshees right. for five days. I call it the wild bacchanalian delight. The what? Wild bacchanalian delight. Oh, you know, okay. It's like, it's like just you know, Bach is kind of a weekend where it's like there's drinking, there's dancing, there's Party. pool parties. Do they still have, you still have uh, the dancers? Oh, God, still yeah. Still going on? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. My first Dinah Shore, I actually went in the year, I think, 2001. Wow. Okay. And I'll tell you a brief story really quick. I didn't even know about the big parties, and a friend of mine invited me, and we went to this boring, I never even knew it. They said, go out to the Dinah Shore. And I'm like, well, I don't even know, like golf. They're like, don't worry, we're not golfing. So we go out, we go to this hotel, it's totally boring. And then I heard someone say, and you guys were over at this certain hotel, I right. won't even name it right now, but you were at a different hotel. We came over to that hotel, and there was just girls in bikinis, tops off, drinking, music pumping. I'm like, this is where it's at. Yeah. So yeah. I had such a blast, and I have to tell you another quick little story. You should probably start a dating website because so many of the girls hook yeah, up at the diner, right? Yeah. I had a friend that came from Chicago. She met a girl and never left California, I ever. Never. <laughs> I have a friend last year who, who um, she'd actually gone through chemo and had been, you know, and survived cancer. And it was the first time out at the Dyna. And she hadn't been on a date in probably a year and a half. She hooked up in five minutes. She's got the record. Wow. <laughs> I, <laughs> you, you'll do, right? <laughs> it was hilarious. There's just definitely some, some energy there for a certain segment of, of the women that are coming. It's definitely a lot of sexual energy. Oh, yeah. But, you know, couples go. It's like a um, big orgy. It, it's it, like a free-for-all. You can it's find it there. You can best. find it there. But it's, it can, <laughs> you know, it, it's got all different aspects of it. I don't want to paint it as this, you know, it's wild. Yeah, but, it's wild. Um, there's also great comedy shows Fun. and really incredible talent. And, oh, yeah, let's yeah. talk about the talent now. You are just, you have an eye for talent. I mean, you picked Lady Gaga last year right before she exploded onto the national. Yeah. I mean, she was a little yeah. bit well-known at that time. Yeah. But you had told me that you actually booked her far in advance just thinking that she might have made it. And she yeah. just, I mean, look at how she's exploded. How did, how did you foresee that? 
You know, I actually started developing a little formula, so to speak, in 2006 with the Pussycat Dolls. I was just looking for certain ways that I thought that they could take off and if things were in place. And that worked. They, they, they had one hit. They played the Dinah and they just, Pussycat cool. Dolls got huge. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's happened with uh, Colby Calais played the event. Right. Um, but last year it was Katy Perry and Lady Gaga, and right. man, that was a home run. That was a triple grand slam yeah. because they both went triple platinum by the time they played the event. Yeah, and, and we were so lucky to be yeah, there. Yeah, because you won't see it again. Right. You know, yeah. well, I mean, Lady Gaga's just really quickly become Madonna yeah, status. That's yeah, that's what I've said, that yeah. she's the next Madonna. Yeah. You can't even get in to see her now. No, it's crazy. And Katy Perry's, you know, she's become internationally well-known too, so that definitely was really cool. But Kesha, I, I, I booked when she was 26 on the charts. Really? And yeah, she's, you could, yeah, I just had a feeling I'd heard her whole album. I'm like, she's going to so take off. And she had this angle that reminds me actually of Madonna because she's, she's really funny. And she's got this whole approach to everything that she does. It's very tongue in cheek and you can take her seriously or yeah. you don't have to. But like that kind of raunch look she has. Yeah, it's now she says she's bisexual, so that'll hit a home run too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but she's been number one on the charts for nine weeks. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, she just beat a 30-year record. You should think about going into musical talent, Mariah. Well, here's, here's what's really cool you about it, though. you up-and-coming artist. Vicky, you know how to pick them. These guys wouldn't take my phone call six years ago. I'm calling William Morris Agency, Paradigm. Well, Paradigm's actually really nice. CAA, yeah. and I'm like, hey, I want to book your artist, and they'd be like, okay, whatever, yeah, we'll call right. you back later, you. and I'd have to write <laughs> emails and ask five times, and not for major artists, but, you know, they're like, whatever. Now, when I call, they're, it's great. I mean, they're like, yeah, we really want our of artists course. at your they event. Want, because yeah. now lesbians are seen as the up and, used to, be right. gay, used to be gay men, right? It's us. And now yeah. it's lesbians are, they're, yeah. they're the trendsetters. No, I love it. That's yeah. so true. Yeah, because I'll tell you something. When you're seeing, these guys are looking at, they don't look at it like, Matt Mariah Hansen, man, she's picking artists. They're going, man, these artists play this Dinosaur Weekend, and next thing you know, they take off. And all they identify it with is that it's this lesbian Of course, party. they think, yeah, it's so, lesbians, and they still have that same old school view of lesbians with their combat boots and their flannel well, shirts. Well, not anymore, and, though, because these are artists are taking off, so girls. we're trendsetters. You know, bye-bye, gay boys. I we're know. taking, you know, we're in control now. Well, we're looking forward to it. Um, Folks out there, if you've never been to the Dinosaur, you've got to go. It is an experience of a lifetime. I know some guys are allowed in too, but mostly it's for the ladies. I'd like to thank you for being on the show, Mariah. Thank you very and much. Had a good time. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.